Is it possible for a German to have a memorial in US? Can the same person have another memorial in a nondescript village in India? Two places have made this unique feat impossible possible. While the first place is Washington DC of USA, the second one is Gulladurti village of India. Though these two places are located thousands of miles apart from each other, their distinguished common achievement is today's story. It was the 18th century. The erstwhile medical science was full of unscientific methods. Pathetic practices such as bloodletting, treatment with leeches and physical torture to mental patients were prevalent due to insufficient body of medical knowledge. The medical science of the day completely failed to understand and appreciate a crucial fact that is, each human being is unique and has got a different soul with a different body. At this juncture, the science that was created by Hahnemann had ushered in a revolutionary change in the history of healthcare. Christian Friedrich Samuel Hahnemann was born in Meissen town in Germany on 10th April 1755. He had joined Leipzig Medical College at the age of 20. Later he moved to Vienna and graduated as MD at the University of Erlangen in 1779, qualifying with honours. Thereafter, he had pursued medical practice for 10 years. However, he was utterly unhappy with the practices in medicine of that time. He had always doubted the genuineness of medical practices that he was using to treat his patients. He felt that the medicine he had been taught was doing more harm than good to patients. He gave up his medical practice in 1789 due to his dissatisfaction and started studying agriculture, physics, chemistry and pharmacy. He eventually made a living as a translator of scientific and medical textbooks as he was proficient in English, French, Italian, Greek and Latin languages. This new vocation provided him with deeper insights of physiology and allied sciences. It was while translating William Cullen's A Treatise on the Materia Medica, he came up with a basic postulation which became the basis for today's homeopathy. The postulation was that which can produce a set of symptoms in a healthy individual can treat a sick individual who is manifesting a similar set of symptoms. This principle, like cures like, became the basis for an approach to homeopathy. Hahnemann eventually developed homeopathy into a holistic medical system through his lifelong research and teaching. He believed that there was no disease without a patient. Hence the patient was of utmost importance and not the disease. Severe criticism and spate of attacks couldn't move Hahnemann's faith in his newfound system. He discovered several new treatment methods that cured the ills of millions of people. Today, he stands tall in the medical world with millions of people following his system of medicine throughout the world. To commemorate his selfless and unparalleled contributions, thousands of his followers had collected contributions and built his memorial in Washington DC in 1900, which is the largest in the world. However, even after 100 years, nobody built another memorial that is of the same stature as the one in Washington DC. In this background, Dr. K. S. S. Prasadarini, a humble Hanumanian homeopathic practitioner from Hyderabad in India, 
felt it is fitting to build another memorial for the noble soul, who had dedicated his life to provide a better medical system for mankind. However, he wanted to do this on his own, a difficult task that turned out to be a great adventure. This is a unique story where one man came forward to build a fitting memorial to this great soul. Dr. Prasad Reddy spent a huge amount of money to build the Hanuman Memorial in his native Gulladurti village of Karnul district in Andhra Pradesh, India. This is the second largest Hanuman Memorial in the world, next only to Washington DC Memorial, and it was unveiled on 27th July 2014 in this Indian village. This inaugural function was attended by a huge gathering of over 5,000 people from across the states of Andhra Pradesh and Telangana. This huge attendance shows the enormous respect that the people of this land have for homeopathy and its founder, Dr. Hanuman. This is the first time in the annals of the history of homeopathy that an event pertaining to homeopathy has attracted such a large gathering. The function was also attended by most notable personalities from all walks of life from both these states. The inaugural function was presided by Sri K.V. Ramanachari, IAS retired, advisor to the government of Telangana. Chief guests included Mr. Sunil, a well-known film hero from Tollywood, Sri P.N. Ramachandra Rao, noted movie director, Sri Junna Vittula, famous poet and lyricist, Hanuman Labhumaya, ex-vice chancellor, Telugu University, and Sri B.C. Janardhanareddy, MLA, Banganapalli. In these times, which do not care to remember the great sacrifices of the past men, 
and in a world where gratitude is a rarity. One man chose to stand different. The very idea of Dr. Prasad Reddy to erect a memorial for the father of the homeopathic system is an inspiring one. His strong inclination to complete this task truly deserves our kudos. While the Statue of Liberty in New York symbolizes the free will and equality, Dr. Hanuman's statue in Gulladurti epitomizes the great revolution in medical science. The memorial is indeed a mirror of the completeness of medical knowledge. It is a pearl that is built in the memory of a great German mind dedicated to humankind. 